Believe it or not, this thing is a travel backpack. Curious? Let's check it out. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is CJ. Now I've been a fan of the company Wandered for a very long time now. In fact, I spent my own money and pre-ordered a Wandered Provoke 21 all the way back in 2015, maybe 2016, when they first released it back in Kickstarter. In fact, I've kept it for so long, it's gone everywhere with me, multiple international trips. They have a track record of producing really great bags that last the distance. Now, they've gotten in contact with me and sent over one of their more recently released bags called the V18 Liters. Now, what's unique about this bag is that it's one of the only packable travel bags that also has accessories that count for photographers and videographers with its inflatable cube. Well, what's so special about this bag? When you look at the outside packaging, it's no bigger than, say, a bag of toiletries. So it's gonna fit really easily in your suitcase, your duffel bag, or even a travel backpack like the Provoke 21 or 31. You could take it anywhere with you and it would be perfect for the person who really likes to travel as a minimalist. Someone who's gonna be out on their feet all day, but doesn't want to be lugging all this weight around, slowing them down, making themselves sore. The other advantage is that this is pretty much the whole package just right here. There's no extra packaging or any bags that you need to carry with it. The carrying case is literally the bag itself. So let's have a look at it. The way to get to the bag, you just unpack it as if you would say a down jacket from Uniqlo. Roll it out. And there it is. Right on the surface straight away, you can have a feel of the materials. It's made of a really hard wearing, water resistant material that extends all the way to the zippers. If you look closely at the zippers, you can tell that they're weather sealed. So you can take this on any trip, on any hike, and you won't be caught out if there is a downpour and you can know that your gear is gonna be nice and dry. But first things first, Right along the front of it, you've got a nice spacious pocket just to fit any sort of random miscellaneous items like, you know, a notepad, some filters, batteries, power bank, all that sort of stuff without any issue. The front zipper is also weather sealed. And then to the side, you've got these little links where you can connect things that you can hang on the outside, like a pair of shoes, some keys, maybe a sleeping bag, anything really that you want to carry on the outside, you can just strap it on to these links and they're gonna be on secure. On the side, you've got a massive side zip which enters into the main compartment. And we're gonna talk about this in a little bit because this is how you're gonna access your camera. And then you've got the main pocket on the back here which also opens into the main compartment like the side zipper. But obviously a travel backpack isn't going to be of any use if it's not comfortable to wear. And so it's gonna need back support, especially if it's gonna be carrying things like your camera, a tripod, a water bottle, and other bits and pieces especially when you're going hiking. The friendly guys at Wandered have thought up of a solution. It looks like this. On the outside, kind of looks like a rib cage, and it does provide a similar type of rigidity to it. And the best thing about it is that it's inflatable. So you don't need to bring any special equipment with you. As long as you've got a pair of lungs, you can use that to inflate the back pad. So let's do it. <sighs> Now, if you're watching carefully, you could have seen that I was actually closing the valve as I was blowing in. And that's quite important because the valve isn't a one-way valve. So the moment you take your lips away from it, it's going to deflate straight away. If you're blowing this up, you're going to have to twist it at the same time to ensure that it stays inflated. Bit of a minor annoyance, but hopefully they can improve on this design in a subsequent version. So once you've inflated this little skeleton frame, you can pop it into the back of the backpack for that extra bit of support. Now, when I first started playing with this bag, I didn't actually know where I was supposed to put this. Initially, I thought it was just supposed to go into this little pocket here with this elastic mesh. But when it goes in there, it actually slides around and doesn't actually give you the right amount of support. Instead, there's actually this secret little window just in the back there where you can see goes straight through to where the mesh is. That's where you're supposed to put this skeleton. So stuff it in there, straighten it out, Close it up with the Velcro, 
and you're good to go. So from in this stage, if you're not a photographer and you don't have a camera, you can just go ahead and start putting whatever you need to put into this bag, whether it be an extra jacket, extra pair of shoes, maybe some snacks, whatever you wanna put in there, it'll be able to fit a really decent amount of stuff. But if you're like me and you tend to bring a camera with you on your travels, you've got this inflatable camera cube, which I think is one of the best parts of this bag. So the inflatable camera cube comes in this really compact package, but you don't actually need this little pouch with it. In fact, the camera cube, when it's deflated, fits inside the bag and rolls up very nicely without needing this extra bit. But for the purpose of this video, let's take it out. And there's the cube in all its glory. Doesn't look like much on the outside, but like the supportive skeleton frame in the back, it's got a little air valve that you can inflate. So, again, like the skeleton padding, I had to turn the valve at the same time I was blowing in just so it would stay inflated. Because if it wasn't there, it deflates really quickly. Make sure your asthma or emphysema is well controlled before doing this, by the way. The cube itself, as you can see, is shaped to the contours of the bag itself. Again, as I first started playing with this bag, I didn't really know what I was doing, and I just stuffed this right into the main compartment. Make sure you don't do that because it still can slide around freely, and if you do drop it from a decent height, it probably still will damage whatever's inside the cube. So instead, you're actually supposed to use this elastic mesh to hold it down. And because everything in this bag is really malleable, you can just go ahead and stuff everything in. That's what she said. And so once you're in, you've got the camera cube sitting nice and flush, nice and secure, no matter how much you shake it. Even with the camera cube in, you've got a decent amount of space in there that you can still put a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, it does say it can fit 18 liters worth of stuff. I mean, that's only three liters less than the Provoke 21 I've got in the back. Really not that bad for a packable bag. Now, I'm obviously using my camera to shoot this video so I'm not really able to demonstrate it going into the bag, but it can still fit other things like a drone really nicely into the bag. Lock it down with a piece of Velcro. This front pocket can fit something like the drone's remote, maybe a set of filters. In the back, you've got this secure pocket where you can put something like your passport in there, maybe a set of sunglasses, or even a set of headphones stuff that in there. Then on the other side, you've got generous space for a water bottle or a tripod, something like a gorilla pod, or even at a stretch, you probably could fit a gimbal on there as well. But just to demonstrate, fits in there, nice and snug. Then when you finally got everything in there, you can whip the bag on. And if you look at these straps, They've got this nice mesh pattern to it, which allows for increased breathability. How many times have you gone on walks or hikes with a backpack and finished the day with a completely soaked back? Well, hopefully with these breathable straps and this breathable mesh on the back, that shouldn't be as big of a problem. And now feeling the bag on my shoulders, it's actually really nice and comfortable. On top of that, even if you do add a little bit of extra bulk on it, there are these customizable and adjustable sternum straps that you can move them up different levels or down different levels depending on how you like to wear your backpack. They clip on quite nicely just like that and they've got nicely adjustable bits on the side like any other backpack. And speaking of little clips and buckles, one extra security feature, the side zipper into the main compartment actually has a little clasp on there just to increase that little bit of security because it's on the side. You never know what shifty people are around that might try to get into your backpack from this side. So that little bit of extra security is a really nice touch. And then finally, we've got a really nice secure back handle. I mean, how many backpacks have you come across where one, doesn't have a handle, or two, that handle feels flimsy as hell? So this, I'm sure, is gonna be able to cop a lot of abuse regardless of what sort of travel adventures you might have. So that's basically it, a very quick rundown on the Wander V18 liters. So what are my first impressions of the V? Well, to start off with, I think it looks stunning. Well, maybe not stunning, but it looks like a really nice backpack. It feels really well made, it feels really light, and I imagine it would be able to fulfill most of my requirements if I were to go out on a whole day where I only needed one camera and one lens. It has plenty of space to put 
other things and I can't imagine there would be too many situations where day trips where this wouldn't really be adequate unless of course you're someone who really needs all of your camera gear multiple lenses multiple batteries maybe even multiple bodies I'm pretty sure this bag is not targeted towards you. But what if you were someone who just needed that extra lens? Well, Wanda do make an inflatable lens case as well. It is another extra added cost on top of what this bag and the cube costs already, but at least you'll have that option. Anyway, I can't wait to put the VA through its paces. And if there are any questions or anything you wanted me to test out, do let me know in the comments section below. What do you guys think of the Wanda VIA? Do you think it's a viable option for the keen track traveler out there. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like, subscribe, and of course, say good day to your mum for me. Cheers.